Hey guys, Aggie Mason here again. Uh, 3.0 is out, and this is my Sage, uh, my Sage Seer heal spec. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Again, you really can't do anything with the branch now. It's not. It's not a tree. It's just one, one singular one-way road. But the utility points on the Sage are actually you can mix and match and do whatever you want here right now I'm doing uh, I'm trying to do uh, decrease damage taken and increase heals to myself um, another thing you could do here is change one of these points out to reduce the cooldown of, of your force stun um, so that you can do it every 50 seconds instead of every minute um, things here you can take bubble stun so every time someone's attacking you and your force armor breaks it'll stun them for two seconds I've got the push back with egress right now and here reduces all damage taken while stunned by 30 percent and you'll be stunned often so I find this very helpful and uh, this lets me use my wandering mend on the move or sorry my healing trance on the move but or you could take your life ward which is really the sage's version of a heal to full. But as far as any changes, nothing ah, it's it's kinda different actually. So you still want to keep force armor on the people taking damage. But now you always want to use rejuvenate on cooldown and use your healing trance. Healing trance still gives you resplendence and three resplendence still give you the auto uh, the automatic salvation. So see it's highlighted now no cast time. It's beautiful. Using Resplendent or Salvation or Deliverance will also give you an automatic benevolence. Let's see. I'm using Deliverance. Yep, there's my automatic benevolence. So, something I've noticed you might want to do is you use Deliverance or Salvation. Hold on, let's do this. Alright. So I'll use rejuvenate and then benevolence or let's do this there we go rejuvenate now since I used rejuvenate benevolence has a 60 percent chance to auto crit so there and it hit for 6k so which is a crit for this heal um, rejuvenate will decrease the force cost for deliverance or Sorry, it reduces the activation time for de deliverance by half a second. It reduces the force cost of salvation. So it's 36. Now it's 54. And it increases the crit chance of healing trance. And you like that crit chance for healing trance because it gives you the resplendence. Um, and don't forget, resplendence can also. Uh, it lets you use Noble Sacrifice without uh, damaging yourself or without getting the debuff on the decreased willpower regen or force regen. Also, you want to use Wandering Mend. Rejuvenate with Wandering Mend. It doesn't wait for people to take damage. It automatically goes between four individuals and heals them up, the four individuals that need healing the most. Or with Wandering Mend, you can just put it on someone and wait for them once they take damage. So it'll just sit on him for 30 seconds. That's, I mean, you force potency and mental alacrity as you see fit. Nine K heal. I mean, it's really easy. You just want to use your Wandering Mend on cooldown. Use it on the, just put it on someone who's taken damage, and it'll automatically move to him, and then it'll bounce between the people uh, with the lowest health that are in range. You want to use re Rejuvenate before you use Healing Trance, and if you have an automatic uh, Benevolence to where you don't have to cast it, try to use Rejuvenate before you use it. That way you have a much better chance of getting a crit um, for the extra heal. Always use Rejuvenate and Healing Trance whenever you can. Always on cooldown. Uh, 
every time. You should always be able to use one of them. And that's really all there is to Sage Healing. Again, willpower is what you want. Um, force. I've got a lot of, lot of uh, crit chance. I'm trying to lower it. You kind of like what I said on my operative. You want between 22 to 24 percent, maybe. That might even be a little high. Um, but you definitely want alacrity, and that's something that you see I need to work on. Get, getting rid of some of my crit and adding some alacrity. Um, alacrity is definitely a lot more helpful now than it was before 3.0. But I will be posting some videos with uh, my Sage here shortly, so please stay tuned. Thanks.